Although I'm primarily a plein air and landscape painter, I really do enjoy coming in the studio sometimes and painting the still life. When you paint plein air, really you only have about two hours to paint before the light changes. But in the studio, even though I'm painting from life and painting from natural light, I set up some place where I'll have consistent light for the whole day. So I can really slow down and take my time and do a more accurate painting. I also sit down when I paint um, still lifes as opposed to standing up when I'm outside painting landscapes. And that also helps me to slow down, steady my hand for when I'm doing some of the more straight lines and more intricate work. Um, and it's a nice change of pace. Today I'm working on this still life with the blue glass and the white flowers, trying to keep a blue-green harmony throughout the painting. I normally start um, a painting like this with a sketch. I take my sketchbook and make several different studies of the painting, um, little thumbnail studies to try to figure out the format that I'm going to use and the design for the painting. Um, and then I make notes to myself to remember what I want to come across in the painting. Then I start with a, a quick drawing, blocking in the forms, and I try to get as much of the painting done in one day as I can. It seems like having that spontaneity is really important, and if I spend too many days working on it, I lose that freshness. This painting, this is the second day on the painting. I couldn't quite get the tulips done the first day, so I came back this morning and worked on the tulips, and then it will take one more session to finish up some of the background and some of the light coming through on the table. Uh, yesterday was a cloudy day, so I didn't get the same kind of light conditions that I had the first day that I painted. So I'm waiting for that perfect light to finish up the um, foreground area in the painting. You have to be a lot more accurate with still life painting than with plein air painting. You know, you can change the shape of a tree or the size of a mountain and nobody's really going to know the difference. But if you really get your drawing off on a vase or if you make something asymmetrical, it's really going to show up in a um, still life painting. So I think it's good discipline and good practice to paint them from time to time if you primarily paint landscapes. Mm -hmm.